This is Joe Delli with the Live Community, bringing you the third video in the Device Insights series, which is Navigating Device Insights. It's being presented by Sri Raksha Kundaji Ramesh. Take it away, Sri Raksha. Now, when you first log into Device Insights from the hub, you'll see that right at the top, there are two tabs, Insights and Explore. The Insights tabs allows you to view the health and performance of the firewalls and the Explore tab allows you to view firewall logs, such as traffic, threat, URL filtering, etc. If you're using the Cortex Data Lake already as a log management solution for your log data. Now in this V2, we are going to be talk talking mostly about the Insights tab. The insights in this tab are generated based on the telemetry data sent from your firewalls to the Cortex Data Lake instance that you just associated with while you were activating the Device Insights app. Note that to see the data over here, you do not need to onboard any firewalls into the Device Insights app. All the firewalls that were generating and sending telemetry data should automatically appear inside Device Insights. Now, the first thing that you notice here in the Insights tab is that there's a bird's eye view of the state of your current firewall deployment. This view cuts through the clutter and allows you to determine which devices to actually focus on before diving into actually how to solve the issue. Now in this system, there are 15 firewalls that are actually sending telemetry data to this Cortex Data Lake instance. And one of them is classified as critical. There are three that have some warnings on them and the other 11 are healthy. The status of the firewalls in the deployment are also represented in a very visually simple to understand manner over here, where all the firewalls are grouped according to the model. You can go to the gear icon here and also look at other groupings that are possible. You can group by software version. And if you have a large deployment with many firewalls and you want to just focus on the devices that you need to look at, you can also uncheck the healthy devices option to show the devices that you need to be looking at. Now, if you scroll down and you'll see the same information represented in a tabular form to allow you to investigate and analyze the data better. In this table, the information is organized with the most important data showing up at the top. So the critical firewalls are at the top. And if you scroll down, you'll see the warning and the healthy devices. Device Insights actually considers several metrics to determine the health of the firewall. Within each firewall, the metrics that most require attention are again highlighted at the top here for you. So in this case, Perimeter SF firewall is impacted because of these four metrics that are critical. Now, before diving into actually why these metrics are critical and how that is impacting, the performance for perimeter SF firewall. Let's take a second to explore this other tab at the top. So if you notice here, we have two tabs, one called devices that we've been looking at, and there's a second tab called metrics. While the devices tab showed the health of the firewalls grouped by the various metrics measured against that firewall, the metrics tab gives a different view of the same data. So it shows the information grouped by a specific metric against the different firewalls in your deployment. So for example, if you knew exactly which metric you're concerned about, you could come to this view to see how the various firewalls in the deployment are comparing for that metric. Overall, the layout of the metrics view is identical to the layout of the devices view. In both cases, there is a set of cards at the top that highlight the critical, warning, and healthy states of either the devices or the metrics. And we have attempted to keep the workflow consistent regardless of whether you choose to start from the devices view or the metrics view. Thanks, Sri Raksha, for showing us the different screens inside Device Insight. Next up is going to be a video about analyzing metrics inside of Device Insights. Thanks again for watching. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you're notified about all the new videos that we're producing here on the live community. Thank you very much. Have a great day.